Mr. Speaker, it's important that we step back and analyze this project objectively and recognize that as uh, one financial publication has recognized the uh, Motley Fool currently with the trajectory that this project is heading on, it is a gas line to nowhere. Mr. Speaker, I am not, um, not going to say that we could not, through great effort and public expense, create a gas pipeline. I think this body has demonstrated <clears throat> over its history the ability to invest money in projects, whether or not those projects are successful. What I will say, though, Mr. Speaker, is that if we continue to pour money into this project under current market conditions, we will end up with one of two situations. We will have a partly constructed pipeline that is never finished, or we will construct a pipeline that is highly underutilized. It doesn't have the gas flowing through it that was envisioned, and that doesn't make economic sense for the people of Alaska. We've talked about this project probably a little bit longer than the Trans-Alaska Pipeline project, which took over seven years to get it constructed when they talked about it. Mr. Speaker, I've stated publicly numerous times there's probably not a handful of people in the entire state that will know what it takes to put a project like this together, between the financing, the federal government, the permitting, the markets, the investments, the construction. Uh, so. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I despise rhetoric. You know, everybody's entitled to have doubts, and as longer this project goes on, uh, there is a lot of doubt to the viability of it. Um, there's new markets around the world all the time. We're not leaders in LNG, Mr. Speaker. We actually languish behind. We have third world nations developing LNGs. But, Mr. Speaker, what we have is, is stability, uh, financial, uh, government stability. Mr. Speaker, we got generations worth of gas. We got a market that's seven to ten days closer than most other markets uh, to the market we're targeting, which is Asia. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this budget appropriates no new funding for AKLNG. It reappropriates some that was appropriated to prior legislative uh, actions. Uh, <clears throat> so, to step to put the brakes on this project at this point in time is just absolutely ludicrous in my mind, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we talk about facts, but the reality of it is there are no facts yet. All we have is proposals, ideas, conceptual ideas. We don't have anything definite in front of us. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the maker of this amendment talked about his constituency. His own borough that he represents, Mr. Speaker, has recently intervened with FERC asking for their location to be looked at again. So I'm not sure who he's talking with up there, but... Uh, Check with his borough managers and mayors and uh, assemblies up there, as you see in the press. Just recently, they've advocated for this project as well, Mr. Speaker. So strong opposition to this amendment. It, now is not the time to put the brakes on this project. Thank you. Representative Chenault. One of the previous uh, representatives talked from District 4. We are closer than we ever have been uh, to seeing if this is a viable project. Too many times, Mr. Speaker, we as Alaskans have been afraid to make that investment, whether that was in Wantana Dam. If we would have built that uh, many years ago, Alaskans would be re reaping the rewards of their wisdom in completing a project. <clears throat> With that project, we currently are, are uh, I don't believe we have a current EIS on that project, so if we chose to go forward with it at some future point in time, we never could get there. Mr. Speaker, we need to continue on with this project. And while I may disagree with the administration and the way that the administration is uh, trying to put this project together without uh, uh, who I consider the right partners or as good a partners as what, uh, who we're courting now, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I think it was uh, Wayne Gretzky said that uh, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And is this a shot? It is a shot for Alaska to improve, to get gas to Alaskans, which is what AGDC was originally founded for, and to make it economically viable for Alaskans to get gas. So, Mr. Speaker, if we, if we continue to be afraid to make that investment, to get to a point where we see if we have a viable project or not, 
in 30 years we'll be saying the same thing that we're saying today is that we should have went forward and, and completed a project. So, Mr. Speaker, I oppose uh, Amendment Number 68. Thank you. That is true. And if that was the only thing we knew, that we don't know if we have a viable project yet, then our responsibility, based on the limited resources we have available, is to put the project on pause and wait until we do have a viable project. To be investing precious government funds that cannot be gotten back in pursuit of a project that is not yet viable is irresponsible, and future generations will look back and ask us why we did it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Are you ready for the question? Will the clerk please announce the vote? Five yeas, 35 nays. With a vote of five yeas and 35 nays, amendment number 68 has failed to pass the House.